Now, after yesterday's win against the Detroit Lions, somebody made a very interesting comment in our live stream. They said, uh, the Baltimore Ravens, the win was good, and they feel like the team is good where they are. They don't need to trade for anybody, and that if they can remain healthy, then they have enough to win the Super Bowl. Now, I halfway agree with that statement. The part that I agree with that they do have enough right now, especially if they remain healthy to become Super Bowl champions. I truly do believe that. I felt that before. I still feel that now. But the part where I disagree is they don't need to trade for anybody. I feel like, all right, if you're strong and you have an opportunity to make your team stronger, why not? And when we listen to this clip, it lets us know that Eric DaCosta and company, they want to get even better. We've been very fortunate to have Super Bowl champion, five-time All-Pro and Dominican Sue with us uh, for the month here on Sky Sports NFL. As you head back to the U.S., yeah. I know this was around about the time you signed with the Eagles last year. What's what's your plans? What's your immediate? Got a thoughts? couple more weeks, so we'll just wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> some, giving breaking, you nothing. some breaking news last week. It was the Ravens that spoke to me. Oh, so okay. Thank they, you. They they uh, seem to be interested. They played great today. Oh, so. you like yeah. that? I like their defense. Yeah, <laughs> Lots of sacks. So you never know. Uh, we'll see uh, when we get back to the states. Huddle up with the wife and family and uh, get settled and uh, keep training. So you know that stat I gave about 11 different Ravens having a sack? Mm -hmm. That's soon going to become 12. <laughs> <laughs> soon going to become 12. Imagine Sue in that, oh, on oh that D-line. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. But Dude. that's what it's about for you, isn't it? You, you've mentioned that a few times. It's got to be a team in the mix. It's got to be a team that's in the mix, and you want to play with great athletes. Yeah. 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 How have I know? I, like, you have Rokon... Uh, Excuse Smith. me. Smith. Smith, yeah. And all these great players. And you've got an amazing quarterback, Lamar Jackson. Mm. Like, you never know. We'll see. We'll see how, <laughs> how the next two weeks go. Mm. Good mix mm. Do you expect, though. I mean, that's what happened last year, wasn't it? I mean, it wasn't just you signed with Philadelphia. That wasn't the only team in the mix. You, yeah, Do you was. expect a few more calls? 49ers were in the mix last year and a couple other teams. And um, really, it's just where's the right fit? Where's the right opportunity? Uh, where can I actually go in and add value? Mm. Uh, you just yeah. don't want to sit there and watch other guys be successful. Yeah. Uh, you can do that so. here. <laughs> yeah. You can do that here. It's very they, comfortable. Yeah. You can do that here and they bring you food and everything. Uh, so, you might as well go and do something. Yeah, but it's, it's always exciting to, to definitely have options. That's the key. Have options and make decisions from there. After watching that clip, that lets us know a lot of things about the Baltimore Ravens. One, they did talk to Ndamukong Sue about the possibility of him becoming a Baltimore Raven. And that wouldn't be something that I would be mad at at all. But what it lets us know about the team is that they're not con content. They're not content with, with where they are. They're not just going to sit back and stand pat and be like, oh, no, we're good with everything that we got already. No, they want more. They want to get even better. They This, de this defense is good i mean you could even call it great but they want to add even more greatness to this defense specifically on the defensive line i mean you already got justin matabike who's playing out of his mind probably playing his way out of baltimore but we'll see uh you got jadavian clowny you got travis jones you got kyle vanoy uh you got some nice pieces on that defensive line but ravens are like look we want even more we want even better and I love that. With, with, with Ndamukong Sue, first and foremost, the business aspect of that clip, uh, he is doing negotiation right through that interview because he talked about how he's like the Ravens, they, um, they reached out to me and whatnot. He said they got great players on that defense. He named Calvin Noy. He named Roquan Smith. And then he was like, oh, yeah, and they got Lamar Jackson playing great at quarterback. And I like all that stuff. That, that's important to me when joining a team. All he's doing is negotiating, baby. He's trying to make the Ravens sweeten that offer and make sure they come right with that check. Uh, but because he's complimenting them heavily in public. So it's like, hey, y'all are nice and I would be a good asset to the team. So cut the check. But we all know how the business goes and it's all good. It's all part of it. But Adama Kinsu could bring somebody that brings a lot of experience uh, to the team, experience as a disruptive player and while he may not be the Indomitian suit of old he wouldn't need to be he would be an extreme rotational piece because he would not be a starter now he did say like hey I wouldn't want to just go to a team and watch like I, I want to play I, I want to get out there I want to be out there but at the same time he's like oh yeah well I'll wait a couple weeks till I get out there till I get to whatever team it's gonna be uh so it's like oh, that's a little tricky right there but Either way, um, if they added a Dominican suit, that would give the Ravens even more quality depth. So that's something that we wouldn't be mad at at all. Now, another thing that this lets me know 
is and let's all of us know is that the Ravens, it seems as if the Ravens want even more help when it comes to getting after the quarterbacks, possibly uh, just pass rush in general, but even more pressure maybe up the middle. Uh, but so that's something that Dominican Sue could do. That's something that Justin Matter BK could do. But it seems like they want to get more disruptive when it comes to getting after the QBs. Maybe they want to find a way to where they can just send four and just get pressure with four. Now, with Adamican Sue, could he help do that? Possibly, but this gives me even more hope that the Baltimore Ravens would look at somebody like a Daniil Hunter from the Minnesota Vikings. That that lets me because think about it. Like, you know, Ravens, Ravens don't just look at one option and be like, all right, that's that's all we're looking at. They, they usually, especially when it comes to stuff like this in this time of the year, they're usually looking at different options. They're usually looking at different players. The Ravens usually, they look at somebody, they may have interest in somebody, but they always have backup plans and other options as well. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this interest in Adamican Sue, that that may sort of be like, and I know they play two different positions, Adamican Sue and Daniil Hunter. But I'm, I'm hoping that that can be sort of a fallback plan. Like, all right, we going to try. And I, I ain't heard nothing from anybody. Y'all know I'm an NFL outsider. No plugs, no connects, no none of that. But I'm hoping that this is their fallback option for them really trying to look at a nice quality option at defensive end like a Daniil Hunter. Uh, I know a lot of people were talking about, um, oh, I forget his, Jonathan Allen. Uh, from the Washington Commanders, especially after he said, oh, I'm tired of this. It's been seven years of the same stuff. And that is definitely the team keep it clean version. But he was extremely upset after losing to Tyrod Taylor, the human highlight reel uh, and the New York Giants yesterday. Um, I know that it's been said that the commanders are taking calls uh, for guys like Montez Sweat. Uh, Chase Young as well So the Ravens like they, they got some options man They really do have some options uh, But it's just a matter of Who's it gonna be Who you gonna get after Who you gonna go after But whenever you hear about the Ravens um, you, you you see them linked to people on the defensive line Then you've of course seen them linked to running backs as well uh, So we'll see what happens with that But just thinking about it man I, I am This is very good news because it makes me happy that the Ravens are getting after it. The Ravens are not just chilling. The Ravens are not just like, um, yeah, we, we, we straight. No, they are straight, and they 5-2 and two right now. They tied for the second-best record in the AFC uh, and maybe even in the NFL, I think. But, yeah, yeah, because the, the top team is the, the, the Eagles, and they 6-1, and one, and the, the Niners, I believe, they, what, 5-1 and one or 4-1? and one. They're getting ready to play tonight against the Vikings, I believe. Uh, so we'll get to see Daniil Hunter uh, even more tonight, so that should be pretty fun. Uh, but anyway, um, this is a beautiful thing for them because it'd be one thing if the Ravens were losing games, and, I mean, they have obviously lost games, but it'd be one thing if they were losing games and they're like, ah, oh, you know what, we need to try to get this piece to get better. We need to try to get this piece to try to help us start to win some more. But no, 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 Ravens are winning. They're a winning team, and they're still trying to get even better. That's how you do it. I, I really love how the Philadelphia Eagles, I, I love, love, love their approach to how they do things because the Philadelphia Eagles, in my opinion, are the ultimate example of never being content, never being satisfied. This is a team a couple years back. They, have, they won a Super Bowl. They, they won a Super Bowl. Um, and they signed their quarterback to a big deal, that being Carson Wentz. A couple years after, they moved off from both of them. They moved off from both the head coach. They moved off from that quarterback, and they, they just started all over again because they were not content. They were like, oh, no, we're not getting the most out of both of these two. We're done. Uh, and they started developing this extremely aggressive approach, and it worked. They got them to the Super Bowl again. They obviously didn't win. And th well, think of Dom against who was on that team too. But they didn't win it, but they, they got there. And they got a new quarterback. Now they paid him, Jalen Hurts. And they, they've been doing their thing. They've been winning. And they still have this like ultra aggressive approach. And, and, and I love that. I, I appreciate that because it lets their fans know. It lets their team know. It lets everybody know like, hey, we want to win. 
and we want to win now and we are going to do everything that we possibly can to win now obviously all the signings that they made over the years the trades like especially with AJ Brown he's been just absolutely killing it uh this offseason they traded for DeAndre Swift and he is literally Swifty but it's not Taylor Swift though but anyway you, you, I, I just love their approach and with Eric DaCosta with the way that he seems to be moving this season and possibly during this season and before this trade deadline I love that so we'll see what happens um we also got some real good news for y'all too now a lot of people have been asking about hey where'd you get the jacket from where you get these nice jackets and I told y'all it says standwithusclothing.com but now yesterday I told y'all there was a discount code, but somebody tried and they were like, oh, man, the discount code isn't working for the jacket. It doesn't apply to the jackets, but we got great news because now uh, these jackets, these varsity jackets, I got the link right in the description so you can go buy yours. There is now a discount code that you can use to purchase yours, and that discount code is engraving. So when you check out your varsity jacket, whether you get the black and gray one, whether you get this one, whether you get that purple and black one, if you want to rep them ravens like that too, you can use code engraven and that will give you 10% off. Don't say I didn't tell you. Don't say I ain't try to put you on. Don't say I don't love you because I do with all three of those things. Team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. And we out.